All right, what is going on, guys? So it's Caleb here from a new expression.net where we help you become your greatest self. Now, it is a currently, it is what, what day is it today? It is a Tuesday. All right, it's a Tuesday. Um, it's around let's see, three o'clock right now. I got some work done. I actually had a job interview today with you know my local, um, it's a local CVS down the street and. You know, it's funny because I went in and they uh, initially I applied for a cashier job, right? And thinking I was going to get a cashier job, and the lady was very nice and she'll tell me that she wanted me to work with her. But then she told me that like I had something that, you know, a pharmaceutical place could use because within the CVS, you have the CVS pharmacy. And she thought I was bright and intelligent and she thought I had great social skills and I was very happy all the time in my social interactions. And she said that, you know, she would see me as a better fit over at the pharmaceutical area. And, you know, me, you know, and she was telling me like, oh, the pay is great. The pay, they pay a lot more than, you know, you being a cashier. And I was like, you know, it's kind of out of my comfort. And, you know, I'm not aware of, you know, I've never worked within a pharmacy. So I, I have no, like being a cashier, I have experience, but you know, being in a pharmaceutical place, like working in the pharmacy, I'm not aware of at all. So, you know, I met with the guy that, you know, owns the whole pharmaceutical area and is the team member or the team leader. And he, he, he wanted me to sign me on. He wanted me on his team. So currently I, you know, he offered me the job. So I have, you know, a, a week or so for me to actually get back to him and actually, you know, let him know if I accepted the job or not. Uh, I right now as of right now I do not know um if I am gonna accept the job or not. Just for the sole purpose that you know, I really wanna focus on building my business and if I were to take this job I would have to go full time. So I'm really considering on whether or not just calling her back and, and letting her know that I don't I'm not interested in the far the pharmaceutical side of things, but I still wanna be a cashier because you know, I still need to get my bills paid. I still need to get money coming in, you know, because as, as of right now, my business is making zero money right now. And I, I felt like I've been saying that for a while, but it's a process. So um, right as of right now, I, you know, might just I just need a part time job, but we'll we'll see what happens. If I can, if I feel like I can balance it out, then I'll balance it out. But yeah, I just wanted to hop on this quick um, video and let you guys know what my plans are. Um, and, you know, give you a tip on, you know, an interview style because, you know, I, I feel like I've, you know, kind of, you know, ex I'm experienced within the interview realm. Um, I've applied for a lot of jobs, had a lot of interviews, and I kind of know how things go. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys like a, like a kind of like a context of, you know, if you're going in for a job interview, like how you should present yourself. Uh, the way that you should be coming across as and, you know, just the way that you want to interact with the person that is hiring you. So, you know, I, obviously you want to dress nice and proper. You want to let people know that, you know, when you go up, you know, and this is with anything, with any business, you know, if you're doing a business offer, if I say for my social media agency, you know, marketing agency, if I go to a bit local business, I want to look professional. You want to look the part. Right, you don't want to walk up with a t-shirt and khaki shorts and, you know, try to propose an idea to them, right, or an offer to them. And that's just not how it works. They want to know that, you know, you take care of your body. You know, even if you, you know, and like, you know, you being, you know, if you're out of shape, that just, you know, that that plays an influence. So you want to make sure that, you know, you have a a good physique. You don't want to be, you know, obese. Because that, you know, that usually, you know, says something about your work. You know, if I would like to think that if I take care of my body, I would take care of the work that I'm that I'm doing. So it just it plays in all areas of your life. So really look the part, really, you know, make sure you clean, shave, um, make sure your hair is not all whack. Make sure you're wearing nice clothes. Just make it look like you take care after yourself. Um, that's really all you know, people are looking for when they're trying to hire people. Another thing is that when you know it's you know when you first see the person, the first impression is almost everything. Um, I think there's a research going on that you know first five seconds uh, a person 
you know, hiring somebody already knows if they want to hire them or not, you know, within those five seconds. So, you know, even though that might be a little off, you know, it just goes to show how important this this that first impression is when you uh, first meet the person. So make sure when you're you're going up and introducing yourself, make sure that you're confident, make sure you're making strong eye contact, uh, make sure that your 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 voice is getting there, that you're clear with your speech and you know, that, that makes you come across as confident. And you want to be confident. You don't just want to fake confidence. Um, confidence is some is, is not something that you want to fake. It's something that you actually want to have. And you want to, you know, you, you have that by building it up, by, you know, putting yourself in scenarios that you're not comfortable with. And over time, you, you start to become more confident. So, you know, that's one thing. And, you know, as for, you know, when you're actually in the interview itself, you really want to talk about you know, who you are as a person. You want to impress the person that you're trying to get the job from. You know, you want to be able to come across. You know, list out the things that that you do, your hobbies, you know, your your passions, uh, your your skills. You want to be real, and this is important. You want to be self aware of yourself because if you're not self aware, then the person hiring you doesn't know who they're hiring, right? You want to know what your strengths are. What you know, even be transparent about your weaknesses. You know, people that, you know, say their, you know, say their weaknesses think that they're going to look, uh, come across as bad. But no, it's, it's knowing that you're self-aware and letting them know that you're self-aware and that you realize where you're strong at and what parts that you're not strong at that other people could do better at. Because, you know, what they want to do is they want to put you in the best position where you are the best at and that you have the most strengths at. So be really self-aware and you know when I was in the interview itself I was telling her I'm very passionate about fitness I'm very passionate about self-improvement I'm very passionate about building this business I want to do I had the social media marketing agency that I'm trying to start up all these things and they that makes them you know you know they 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 realize that you have a passion for something they realize that you're trying to become a better person that's what it's all about you know, and you know, I'd rather take somebody that's self-driven, motivated, inspired, and is willing to learn the skills than somebody that is maybe talented in that area, but isn't like, you know, they're not driven. They're just kind of going through the motions. They don't really care about what they're doing. You know, so you want to have that kind of um, character to yourself. And, you know, when you're in the interview, you want to you want to have this kind of energy that that they can resonate off of. Right. Don't look at it as somebody that's just hiring you. Look at it as a human being that you're connecting with and genuinely have a good time with them. Have a human interaction. That's what it's all about. Most jobs are all about human connection. You want to be able to, that's all sales are, is just human connection. You're influencing or convincing somebody to buy your product. It's a human connection that you're having with another human being. So treat it as that. Treat it as if you're talking to another friend or another person and you know treat it as that and just go with the conversation make small talk get more interested in the person that's actually interviewing you you know that's one good way you could do it you could flip around the script and be like tell me more about yourself like what what you know what is this business about like what what are your values what are, like what do you guys stand for and that you know that sparks interest and people like that people like people that are interested and carry um curious about other people so that's one thing that I just wanted to put out there. And yeah, just be confident in yourself. Know who you are. Become self-aware. And just, you know, when you're in the interview, just try not to think about just trying to impress them. Like, just genuinely come from the heart. Because when you come from integrity, when you come from the heart, they, they can catch on to that. They realize that that you're speaking your truth. And that's what they really look for. They look for authenticity and they look for truth um, when you when you are in the interview itself. So... That's just some tips I wanted to give you guys for the interview part. Um, if you guys are going in for an interview, uh, but anyways, I'm, I'm debating if I should make this video. No. What's up, guys? <laughs> All right, so that's it. All right, so I hope you guys got some out of that video. Just wanted to give you guys a quick context of what an inter interview is like. I've been to a lot of interviews, and I kind of have the gist out of it, and I, I kind of have like a general idea of what they're looking for. 
So, you know, if you put those things together, I, I really feel like you would be in a strong position to get the job. So, I hope you guys got something out of that. That was just from my experience. I just wanted to share that because I did have an interview today and I know how nerve wracking and nervous you can be when, you know, leading up to that interview. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Um, I will be coming out with a video again tomorrow. So, you know, make sure you subscribe if you guys want more content like this. And remember that change happens only with a new expression. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.